How to create a structure map. Hey guys, Charles here from Bastard Studio today. World of Fishing here with another tip. Today I want to talk about the structure map feature of the HDS series. So these are the things that I do to create the structure maps that I can out and, and you know I actually create the mosaics on the unit themselves. So the first thing that I do is I like to have my side scan at about 80 foot range. What I do then is I change my chart which uh, currently has the overlay on the new Genesis Live which is creating a um, accurate topographical map on the fly while you're idling I change that to structure and I change the structure options and I make sure that I put it onto live so what will what live will do is it'll actually display the things that are behind me currently what I do as well is I change the frequency to 800 kilohertz which you know since the last two updates hasn't really made too much of a difference um, you know, a couple of updates ago on the structure scan 3D, I could set it to 80 foot and it would actually switch frequencies or appeared to be switching frequencies. But anyway, that's beside the point. I changed the transparency down to minimum so that I can see what's around me at the, at the time. Then to actually create the structure map, I'm going to tap on a any sonar or down scan or side scan page I'm gonna hit advanced log sonar give it a name so let's call this vol mill bend sorry about the wind it is quite windy today hit enter now I've got the structure scan 3d transducer so I want to select SL3 um, if you have a total scan or a LSS2 HD or one of those transducers you're gonna to want to select SL2 uh, a lot of guys are getting the issue where you know the units are automatically s selecting SL3 even with the total scan and the guys are having um, corrupt data when they're recording you want to save it to a memory card generally I put a memory card in the right that I can record to in this case I'm gonna record it to the left memory card I want to create a structure map when I'm complete and I want to hit record now generally I like recording at 80 foot range and I'll show you exactly why now you can see it's not washing out on the sides even on the chart there it's not washing out so now I'm going around a bit of a bend but this is an area that I'm quite interested in fishing coming up so I'm gonna idle up a little bit and you don't want to make your structure maps too long uh, the longer they are the longer they're gonna take to um, actually convert now with the carbon series you know they're, they're super quick to convert so let's just go past here I'm gonna bring my speed down just to get a little bit more accurate um, and another important thing is on the georeferencing with regards to my um, my GPS where it's getting its source data from you want that to be a GPS receiver like a point one which is closest to your structure scan transducer that means that where you mark something is exactly where it's gonna be in this case I've got a bit of a interesting looking thing out there so I'm just gonna mark that I'd say that's like a little bit of a rock pile down there or something like that I'll go back just now and check that out so now there we've got a slipway coming in jetty um, another one over there nice rocks around here so we're coming up to spawn time now and uh, I'm looking for these nice rockier areas with a bit of deep water nearby so I'm right next to the bank here and I'm in 20 foot so the reason I like having that showing the live is now let's say I wanted to record something a little bit deeper so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom out I'm gonna make my turn but I'm gonna give it a nice wide girth I'm not gonna turn extremely tight and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try overlap the structure maps that I've made or overlap my turn here. so now I'm out of a deeper 
and I'm watching my live and I want to try and cross those two and get as close to crossing them. Now I can bring it out a little bit deeper but you can see you don't have that washed away black um, or darker area in your structure map because the range is only at 80 foot. So now I'm just going to idle up and just keep those two just over overlapping slightly and see if there's anything out here a little bit deeper. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, go to where I started this recording which is not too far ahead and to keep this video short I'm gonna actually kill it there but the important thing is your range is on 80 foot. Now if you change the range here while you're recording, it'll change the range of what you're actually uh, recording and what the structure map is going to be. So for this case, let's just hit back on any one of the sonar, downscan or side scan pages, hit advanced, lock sonar, stop. Now it's going to ask me if you want to make uh, create it into a structure map. Yes I do, I want to put it in the internal and I want to convert it high resolution. let's see so that's now pretty much fully converted so now I can go back to my chart change my overlay uh, structure options from live to saved and now I've got that structure map as my chart forever built into the unit I can you know load other old structure maps that I've loaded in there's a bit of stuff over there now you can also set your contrast, so let's bring up the contrast a little bit. I personally like this palette as well. You can drop the contrast down and make it nice and dark. But I prefer the contrast at around 42-ish, 51, stuff like that. But now as you can see, I don't have that washed out area on the sides because I'm only recording at 80 foot. Hope this helps guys. Tight lines, screaming reels. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel. And if you want more information, contact us at www.bass.co.za or our retail showroom, which is in Johannesburg, South Africa, called World of Fishing, 189 Bayes Nordia Drive. Give us a call on 011-782-6969 or send us an email, info at bass.co.za. Thanks a lot. Tight lines and screaming reels.